Happy Vending. Hello and welcome to Happy Vending. I'm Bill and today we're going to be talking about space to sales. STS, space to sales. And what this means is if you have a vendor like this Royal G3 669 machine which has more columns on the inside than you have selection buttons on the outside, you're going to have a space to sales setting in the machine. And basically that, what that tells the machine is what columns are programmed for each selection. And for your Coke vendors, like these G3 machines, they usually have Coca-Cola, which is typically the most popular product, set to multiple columns maybe three out of the 12 columns are set for your Coca-Cola. But I'm going to be showing you how you go in and set the space to sales settings. Now if you have a Dixie Narco, say a 501E machine, uh, a lot of times you don't have to worry about space to sales because you have a set number of columns, let's say nine, and usually you have that same number of selection buttons, nine. So each selection button is for a specific column. But your Royal machines, whether it's the Merlin 4, which is the 650 machine, or the G3 machines, which are your 660 machines, they all have 12 columns, six in the front, six in the back, and you typically do not have a machine that has 12 selection buttons on it. Most of them have either nine, like this one does, it's a 660-9 machine, meaning it will hold 660 cans, and it has nine selection buttons on it, or your Merlin 4, which is a 650, a lot of them have 10 selection buttons on it, but still they have 12 columns, so you still have a space to sales setting in there. A lot of the programming directions are inside the machine, although sometimes that is missing. So it's always good to have an owner's manual to your machine. Now when I got my G3 machines, and I have several of them, when I got them, none of them came with the owner's manual. So I, what I did is I went to the Royal Vendors website and downloaded the manual for the G3 machine. And I make notes in there of different uh, parts that I've ordered and um, different repairs that I've had to make. But it's always good until you get real familiar with the machine to have your owner's manual with you. And you know, read through this, get familiar with the machine. Uh, when you're searching for parts, it's good to know what the different part numbers are and the names of the parts are. All right, the first step is you have to get inside the machine and open it up. And you're going to be having to go into the programming mode. Now, on the inside door, they typically list different space to sales configurations for the machines. It has different preset options that they have. What I've found over time is I don't like any of these presets. So I typically do a custom setup for my machines. The one that it typically uses if you have a nine select machine, which I do, mine has nine selection buttons, uh, is this this setup, option seven, which selection one uses columns one, two, and three. Selection two uses columns four and five. And then all the other selections are using one column. So selection three uses column six, four uses seven, five uses eight. The reason I don't like this is it has too many products hidden in the back columns that are covered by products in the front columns. So once again, this selection one, it's preset for columns one, two, and three. And what that means would be, if I press selection one, which is Coke, it would vend from column one, which is this front column, first front column, column two, which is this front second column, and column three, which is this front third column. And then it said selection two would be columns four and five, which are these two front columns. And then all the other selections would start at six and then do those back columns. The first back column is selection seven. What happens then is your first selection, say it would all be Coke, 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 Coke. It would be stacked up and then say 
one of those back columns, either seven, eight, or nine, sold out, and I have this stacked high with Coke, I would have to unload this product to get to those products back there, which becomes a hassle. And that it can be a hassle with your Royal Machines because you have hidden columns in the back. So the way I like to do it is I like to put my, my three most popular items in the first three selections and they go front back. So my Coke is column one and column seven, but it's the same product straight through. Column two is my Diet Coke in this machine, which is the second most popular uh, product, and that goes column two, column eight, straight back. And then the third most popular product in this machine is my Cherry Coke, and that's column three and column nine. So these three products are just straight back. There's no products hidden behind them. And they bend equally. When you set your space to sales, like selection one is gonna bend from column one and column seven, it keeps those columns even. It bends the front column, and then the, the machine will then bend the product from the back column, the next person that orders that product. It keeps the columns even. Okay, then from every product after my first three, like my fourth product, which is root beer in this machine, I have it in the fourth column. Then the fifth product is Mountain Dew. I have it bending just from the fifth column. The sixth product is um, Crush. That's uh, from the sixth column. And then what I do is I will have three products that are hidden then behind the front columns. And I try to put my least selling items for that machine in those back three columns so that they're not covered by slow moving products in front of it. So then I have my, my uh, ginger ale which vends in column 10 which is behind the root beer. And then I have an iced tea, a bottled iced tea. You would, think, you would think it would sell better but it doesn't really sell that much in this faculty room. That's in column 11. And then water is also back here in the 12th column. You would think water would be a good seller in this faculty room, but it's really not that good of a seller. Not good enough for me to keep it in the front. Let me show you how to get into space to sales. I'll show you how you go into the preset options that are part of the machine, and then I'll show you how to do a custom space to sales like I did on this machine. So what you gotta do first is uh, we gotta get into programming mode, so you gotta get to the control board and press the programming button on this older uh, board like this one. It's a, a square red button on the newer G3 machines. The newer boards, you have a little blue button all the way up at the top, but you find the button, the programming button, and you press it once. And it should say error, which is the first menu. And to navigate up, I press the second button. It will take me into some of the other menus but I have to get into the password menu because to get to my space to sales, I have to go into some of the more advanced menus and you have to go and put in a password on this machine to get to those menus. The default password on these Royal machines is 4231. So you press the fourth button, the second, the third, the first, and then press four for enter and then it's going to take you to cash which is the first menu after you put in password. And I'm just going to navigate up and I'm looking for space to sales, which is S T S. To enter that menu, you press the fourth button. And then you're going to see whatever it is set to. Mine, it was set to a custom setting. Custom space to sales, that's what C S T S stands for. I'm going to go up to, and these options in here, these are the different preset options which are on the door. So if you wanted to use one of those options, now the one you would use for this machine is option seven, which has nine selections for nine brands, and you would use this. So you would do one of these options. If I wanted to do that, I would just go to the option I want and then press the fourth button to enter that option and then it would set it. Or clear would clear out my custom space to sales. Or I could do this RSTS, which is recommended space to sales. The machine 
tries to figure out which are the most popular products and uh, configure a space to sales uh, based on that. I, I never use this recommended space to sale. Personally, I just use the custom space to sales. But let's go to clear. I'm just going to press four and it just cleared it out and it went back to the space to sales menu. So I'm going to be starting fresh here. I'm going to press my fourth button to enter the menu again. I'm going to go up to custom space to sales and I'm going to press enter. And what it's telling me is selection one, which is Coke, is set to no columns. That's what it's telling me, none. Selection one is set to none because I cleared out my space to sales. So we're going to have to set selection one for column, if you remember this, in my machine, I have Coke in column one and column seven, which is directly behind it. So the column one and the column seven. So we gotta set it for those two columns. Let's get busy. We're going to press the fourth button to enter this. And it's telling me column one. I'm okay with that, I'll press enter. And I'm going to say, now it's set to zero, which means uh, no column one. I'm going to press up to one, which says yes, column one. I'm going to press enter again. Good. It's set for that. Now I'm going to go up to column seven. And I'm going to go enter. And it says zero, meaning column seven. It's not set to selection one, but I'm going to go up to one, which means, okay, I'm going to set column seven to selection one. I press enter, and good. I just set those two columns, column one and column seven, to selection one. Now I'm going to go back, and it confirms that. To go back, I press the one button. It says, select, it goes through it, selection one, column one and seven. Selection one, column one and seven. So selection one is set for me. Now let's press the up button, which is second, second button down, and it's telling me selection two, nothing. But if you remember from my machine, I need to select, uh, set selection two, which is my Diet Coke, to column two and column eight. That needs to be a two eight. So let's set that. Let's press four for enter for selection two. And then it's saying column one. Well, no, I don't want column one. Column one is set for selection one. So I'm gonna press up to get to column two, and I do want that. So I'm gonna press the fourth to enter. If it doesn't enter, press it a little harder. Um, is it zero? I gotta make that one. Then press enter again, good. Now I'm gonna go up to column eight. And I'm gonna press four for enter, and then go up to one, four to enter, and now if I go back with my first button, selection two is two and eight. Selection two is two and eight, which is correct. And you sort of see how this works. You really want to take it slow and be careful as you're programming this so you don't make any mistakes because it's easy to make a mistake. You want to be checking your columns and make sure you're setting the right columns for the right selection buttons. Let's do this one. We have one more column or one more selection, uh, which is the Cherry Coke, that will have two columns. And the columns for Cherry Coke is going to be three and nine behind it three and nine. So let's do this one more time here. So I'm going to go up to selection three, which right now is set for nothing. I'm going to press my fourth button. It's going to go to column one. No, I don't want it in column one. I don't want it in column two. I do want it in column three. So I press my fourth button, turn that zero into a one, press the fourth button again, and then we're going to go up to column nine. So it's going to be column three and column nine. Press four, it'll be a zero, turn that to a one. Enter that by pressing the four, we'll check it by pressing one. So 
Selection three is column three and nine. Now all the other uh, selections from four through nine are just going to be programmed to one column, starting with column four. So let's do that. Let's go to selection four, enter, and just set that to, oop, I went one too far. I'm gonna go back with the third. I'm gonna set that to column four. Press enter, turn that zero to a one, enter, and selection four now go back is set to column four gets a little tricky now because now we're going to selection seven which is my uh, ginger ale but that is not column seven because column seven is the back coke column column eight is the back diet coke and column nine is the back cherry coke it's column ten which is the ginger ale. Selection seven, I gotta make sure I'm setting it to column 10, 10. Right now it's set to nothing, press my fourth, and I'm gonna go all the way up till I get to column 10, which is C10, press my fourth, which is enter, turn that zero to a one, press enter, and then check it. Selection seven, column 10. Now let's do the last one, selection nine, which is going to be column 12. Four to enter, go up to column 12, press enter, turn that zero to a one, press enter, and there we go, we've set them all. Now, to get out of this, we press one, just to confirm, selection nine is 12, and we press one again. It says save. We're going to press four to enter it. And then there we go. We have set that space to sales. And so once you save it, you can close up your vendor. It will go back into sales mode and I have some ones here, let's put in a dollar. These drinks are, most of them are 75 cents for the cans. Let's just try the Coke, number one. Now this vends from columns one and seven, and it will alternate between the two. I'm not going to vend it more than once, but it did vend the Coke, so I know it was either columns one or seven. Now let's try Let's try our cherry Coke, which should be getting that from columns three and nine. It's probably taking it from column three first. Cherry Coke. Let's try one of them in the middle. Let's try our Mountain Dew, which should be coming from column five. And only column five. Let's try one of our bottle products. Let's try our iced tea. That's selection eight, should be vending from selection, or column 11, which it is. So it looks like we've set our space to sales correctly using a custom space to sales setting, which is what I prefer on these Royal G3 machines. As always, I hope you learned something and happy bending.